Oh, this is yours. Why don't you introduce the next one? All right. Well, uh, we just talked a lot about veterans, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, non-veterans of a sort. Uh, let's let's go with uh, for this one. We're we're changing starter backup bench to backup bench in G League. Uh, I've selected the four more the four names of the guys that were playing a lot lately. Uh, who of the ten day slash G leaguers um, would you most like to keep on this squad? So I've got Gravit, Frazier. Schofield and uh, Gillespie up here. Uh, those are the guys that have been seeing the majority of the minutes uh, from that, that take. So what say you for backup bench and G league? Okay. Um, my starter, I'm not going to change it from, we had a little debate between two previous to this is going to still be Hassani Gravit. I, I like what he does with the game pace. I, I, you know, doesn't score a lot of points, but does it efficiently and doesn't have a lot of turnovers. And that's what I want in a point guard. He also still has some razzle dazzle to him and some confidence that I think would really grow if he were uh, given a, like a two-way contract in the future or, or a permanent, he knew his spot wasn't, you know, in jeopardy all the time that he could, you know, really grow into that. I think it'd be a very good player we have our point guards. Hopefully we've got, you know, Kel and Cole and Jalen who can do some ball handling. We just talked about Gary Harris. There's a bunch of guards, but Gary Harris isn't a ball handler. So I think it'd be nice to have that insurance, especially this year or, you know, next couple of years with, with Kel coming off the injury, probably not going to play a bunch of minutes to start. So to have that guy when Cole or, or Kel need, need a win break, that's a guy that you could throw in there and get some really good minutes from. And I just love grab it. And it's not just because we're both card holding members of the ginger association. Okay. He's a great player. Um, next I'm going to do, uh, honestly, it's a toss up between Schofield and Gillespie. I didn't look at any statistics prior to this, uh, this bit here on either of those gentlemen. So I don't have anything to quote, but just from the eye test, I mean, it kind of yeah. brings something similar, right? I mean, that, they're, they're bringing that tenacity, that energy, um, some more of that rebuilding or the rebounding that we were talking about. I guess I would, I would go with Gillespie. He seems like more of a, a down low presence. And I think that's where we could use a little bit more grit, even if it's just on the practice, uh, on mm-hmm. the practice court and, you know, Gillespie sick, Dizzy Gillespie. I love jazz. Like let's have Gillespie on the roster and then we'll send Schofield and Frazier back down to the G league. Oh, I guess Frazier wasn't on our G league. We'll send Schofield back down to the G league and we'll see him in February when we're sitting courtside at the uh, Westchester right. Knicks first Lakeland magic game in Bridgeport, Connecticut. <laughs> and then Tim Frazier can just go back to uh, <laughs> Tim Frazier. Will come job and punch me in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, for this one, I, I, I can't really disagree with you on Gravitz. I'm not going to repeat all that. Obviously I, I like what he brings. So I'm going to put him as my backup, my bench. Uh, I'm going with Admiral Schofield here for the exact opposite reason that you're picking Mr. Gillespie, because I like Admiral as a first name. And uh. I think it's better. I also really enjoy his hustle when he's out there. I've often said when I watch him play on defense, it's almost like he knows, hey, I'm getting 10 minutes today and I have six fouls and I'm here to give them. But I like the effort. Uh, Probably Gillespie is a little more polished on the inside as a defender, which is maybe better. But I'm going with Admiral for that. And then, yeah, we'll have Gillespie go back to the G League. We'll see him later for sure. And then, yeah, Tim Frazier, go back to doing whatever you were doing before. Hopefully it pays you. I know it probably doesn't pay you as well as you got paid for your two 10 day contracts because we did yeah. that math and I was mad about it. It would take yeah. me five years at my current <laughs> job to make what he just made in 20 days. So don't feel bad for Tim Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All these guys are doing all right. When you get called up to the NBA, it's a nice little bit for these 10 day contracts. Even the guys that are just coming into the league. Like I think even grab it. We are looking at, it's like 50 K, you know, 10 day contract. Like that's, my year salary shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I should have gone into the MBA. Dang. Uh, oh, why'd I go into teaching? Uh, pick, pick the wrong career. Should have been in the MBA. Uh, last one. Teachers always complaining about not getting paid too much. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I get paid fairly. I feel like a fair salary. I enjoy the work I do. Doesn't feel like you're working when you love what you do. Peach. Throw that cliche in there for you. Thank you.